What's up, guys? Today we're going to take a look at some transitions from the open guard. Okay, this is a flow drill to help you transition from guard to guard and help you with the retention and control between guards. Right? Open guard is one of the hardest guards to play for the beginner because it requires, you know, coordination between arms and legs. So that's why we're going to do today transitioning from guards to help you build your open guard. Okay? So. Let's start here actually from the half guard and then we start building up. Okay, so I have my knee shield half guard. Okay, I have a video explaining this already how to do. It was no gi style, but with the gi, I'm going to control his sleeve. I'm going to control the collar. I could control palm down or palm up. Okay, for this scenario, let's work palm up, thumb up. Okay, sometimes it brings my elbow too low compared to palm up, okay? But if that's the case, I can always turn my hand and lift my elbow, okay? In the gi, okay? To block the shoulder, block the neck. I have my hand on his sleeve, okay? Now, from the half guard, I'm stepping on his hip here as my shield. As he tries to stand up and go for a knee slice, I just transition from half guard to reverse de la riva, okay? This foot, let's go down there. The foot here, that's hooking his ankle for the half guard. I just transition, as he gets up, I transition to the hip, okay? That's the, from half guard to reverse de la riva, very simple transition. I have my knee shield, he gets up. I get my hook there, my reverse de la riva hook, right on his thigh, as deep as I can my foot on his hip, always the ball of my foot instead of my, f com my foot completely here where he can stimulate lock me here. So just the ball of my foot where I can clear my foot anytime that I want. And from the reverse, the la riva, I want the grip here, my forearm under my thigh, okay? To reinforce this structure here. And also to put the guy off balance. Right? If I just step my foot on the mat and extend my reverse de la riva, I can off balance him or start sweeping. Okay? So from half guard to reverse de la riva, great. Now, the reverse de la riva, I can push the guy and I can pull. Right? I can push with my top leg on his hip and I can pull with the collar and with my reverse de la riva hook. Okay? So I push and pull. Once I push the guy, or if he decides to posture up and stand up a little more, my reverse de la riva starts to become weak. If he extends his leg, kills my reverse de la riva. So as he extends, I transition. I lost my hook. I go to the far thigh. The foot from the hip, I just hook behind his leg. That's going to be my, my regular de la riva. So if he tries to kick this leg back, my foot is there, holding the guy enough for me to transition off with this hand to the ankle. And now I'm playing my regular de la riva, okay? From the regular de la riva, if he tries to push my knee down, since this hand is free, I'm only controlling the far sleeve, right? He cannot push this leg down because I'm controlling. So he's killing my de la riva hook. He kills the I have a hook. I'm gonna control his sleeve now to break his grip. Once I let go his ankle, most likely he's gonna step, take a step back. Allows me to get a little angle. I pull his hand towards my chest. I kick my leg, break my grip. I throw my lasso. I square up with the guy, okay? My lasso deep here, my foot on his ribs, okay? I have my lasso guard now. Lasso, I can transition to spider. Lasso, spider guard. Okay, we move around here a little bit. I can go double spider. All right, double spider. Nice. From the spider, let's do another transition. I, I keep one spider. I step my foot on the ground. I'm going to use my foot on the ground to lift my hip and bring the guy close to me by the spider, right? Go back there one second. I was here, I step, pull the guy, bring my foot on top of my head, so his leg comes close to me. I can wrap his ankle, 
and start transitioning to single leg X guard, okay? From the single leg X guard, if it peels my foot from the hip, I transition to modified X guard. From the modified X guard, let's go with my hip really underneath his hip. My knee is wide open. I'm gonna transition to regular X guard, which is his foot over my shoulder. I control the back of his knee so he doesn't kick his leg out as I free this arm. And I'm gonna shoot my arm under his ankle, bringing his leg over my shoulder. I'm gonna sweep the guy with a tripod sweep. I slide my foot here behind his ankle. I drop his hip to the ground. I come on top. And now it's his turn to repeat the drill. Starting from knee shield half guard, I counter my opponent's knee slice pass with my reverse de la riva. Once he disengages, I transition to regular de la riva. He pushes down my de la riva hook, so I break his grip and transition into a lasso guard. I mix it with a spider guard to add some extra control. Play around a little bit and I'm gonna add my second spider. I push and pull, extend and bend my legs, testing my controls. From there I can step on the mat and use my spider guard to bring the guy close to me and transition into the single leg X guard. He clears my foot from his hip so I transition into modified X guard and eventually transition into the classic X guard with his foot next to my neck where I can sweep him coming on top and now it's his turn to play.